How you guys doing today? Shabby here, back with another video. Um, damn, where did I put this? So today's video is um a basically informative video. Um, I'm not wearing clothes, so don't mind. Uh, so basically, it's about um if you guys own a Infinity Q50 or I mean I, I don't know if it's the same for all Infinities and like Nissans. But um, if you're on a Q50 or a Q60 um, and a code pops up on your DTC tool uh, through the ECU tech app, or, or if, if you're not tuned, you just plug in a, a tool just to see what, what codes pop up. If you get the code P00E1-00, um, sometimes it won't show you the description, but that code is basically a failed uh coolant air temperature sensor that goes right by your heat exchanger uh, if that fails then um i highly recommend you guys uh, get it replaced asap um my dumbass um started replacing it i thought could you treat the code but um the problem started getting more and more severe um at first everything was good and now um every time i try to push in the car and it goes to like 3000 rpms like the car forgets, like it forgets how to shift another gear, it forgets all that stuff. Remind you, that's in um uh in auto mode, and when you when I'm driving in manual mode, it, it still moves just like it used to, but the gears like it, they're so heavy, like um that you could just feel you you could feel the tension that that that, that transmissions have because of this issue. Um, I read online where if you keep driving with this issue you, you eventually your car could stall like your engine it could stall because the basically that that sensor gives signals to the ecu and it tells the ecu okay he's going fast now you know put put that in make it go quicker move the engines quicker um i've read online that uh the water pumps for the and the whatever pumps that goes to the engine those are mechanical so infinities we shouldn't have that issue um let me know in the comments below if if I'm wrong on that. You know, I'd rather be wrong than uh, than say I'm right and I'm wrong. You know, I don't want I don't want your cars getting messed up either. And um, another issue was when you coat when you stretch your car, it gives it like a rich mix. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to some of you guys, but um, it's basically like a rich like um, it's an oil mixture. So depending on how the car starts. And uh, what the the sensor tells the ECU, you could either have a go like a good one or a bad bad mix. Um, you definitely don't want a rich mix. Uh, you you want to keep it somewhere in the middle. And uh, because of that, that also could like mess up your engine um, on the long run. You know, it won't mess up right away, but you will start getting issues in the future because of that. What because of this particular issue, referring to the uh, the air temperature sensor, coolant air temperature sensor. Um, but yeah, um, don't, don't cheap out on parts. Fuck parts, don't cheap out on time, just do it. Just do it. Um, whatever chance you get, um, but unluckily for me, man, um, I ordered the part from Infinity, uh, cause mine, mine is a 2020, so, I, everything is like OEM, so I have to go back to the, like, to the other dealership or Z1 Motorsports, thank God for them. I actually got the part from them, but they're obviously ordering it from Infinity. So, uh, saves me the trip. And, as you all know, in two days, it's July 4th, so I probably won't be getting that sensor but the next by next week. So, I'm pretty much asked out. We're supposed to go out with my, uh, my fiance, but it's all good. I gave her my Kia, so now she's going to be basically, yeah, it's all good. It'll be a trip down memory lane. Um, it's a Kia Optima 2015 LX. So it's not cool. I have a few things on it, um, but that's that's for another video. And um, and yeah, but I'm gonna put up a video. Um, the first video is going to be. Uh, I'm gonna put it in this video. Uh, the first video is gonna be um, basically me doing a, a full throttle. So I'm pushing like I'm I'm starting around I think ten or zero. I'm not. I, I kind of forgot. But I'm, I I fully fully put down the pedal. Um. And remind, and it's not in valet mode. I checked twice. It's not in valet mode. I turned valet mode on, then off again. It's not valet mode. And when I fully throttle, the 
as you can see in the video, it goes up to 3,000 RPMs and it just gets stuck there. It's like it's like you're driving slow, but in reality you're pushing your foot fully down. But the car thinks you're like tapping it like slowly. That's what that, that's what the car thinks. Like it, it picks up like you you hear the turbos go, and then it it just like it doesn't go any louder. It doesn't make any more sound. It just stays right there. And then when I stop and I let go, it's like a release. Like um. It's like I'm downshifting. Yeah, that's exactly how it feels. It's like I'm downshifting, and the 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 the, the line goes from three RPM to like six. Like, zoom, then it goes right back down to two. And uh, the uh, the second video after that, it's in a uh, manual mode. That one it does pick up. Um, like I still feel the same power I felt, but there's a heaviness to the gear, so obviously it's it's not the full power that I'm used to. It's definitely lower. But it, it does move in manual mode. Um, I'm guessing the transmission is getting affected badly because of this. I just hope, uh, I just hope the transmission doesn't mess up. It's 2020, only 15,000 miles on it, so. Um, and yeah, so for now, at least for for, for next week, no racing. Um, but if you want to do a run, I'm in New York City. You can always text in the comments or go on my uh, Instagram. Uh, B4TMOBL It's the same exact as my license plate um, All my races happen in Mexico I do not race in local streets Or any place in the United States I go to Mexico for these races Don't ask me how I drive from New York to Mexico I just do But uh, I go to Mexico for all these races um, But just, just hit me up Hit me up, good talk And yeah, and um, that's pretty much about it Shout out to Boost in Motion And uh, Boost in Fiend uh, those are the Instagrams that I just named. Um, they, they, they're the ones who pretty much help me out at BT Tuning. Uh, they're the ones who are actually be able to tell me that it is, in fact, um, the coolant temperature sensor that's making a car drive like this. Uh, Boosting Fiend, too. Um, he was, he, he, his first question was, who installed my heat exchanger? So he was definitely on the, he was definitely on the right path. And Boost in Motion told me to contact uh, Infinity of Limbrook. So I'm guessing they would have known what the issue was just by me contacting them. But thank you guys. I'm at work now. I have to go clock in. Um, peace. I'm going to put up the two videos and the video is going to end. All right. Take care. Okay. This is going to be full throttle.